Assalamu alaikum everybody, this is Sam and a very warm welcome back to another video with me here at Sam of Somalia. In this video today we're going to be going over some of the Somali ways to talk about animals and I thought that was quite an interesting video because most people don't associate Somalia, despite where it is in the world, with being a place with a lot of like animals and wildlife. But um, actually only maybe 40 years ago it was teeming with, with, with wildlife and flora and fauna and um, you know it's only really been since the civil war there, obviously starting in the 1970s, is... Um, you know, that there hasn't been so much. Like, people don't go on safari holidays there, but they do go to the neighbouring countries in, you know, Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, on, to go and see these animals. So what I wanted to do was do a little video where I just teach you guys, maybe 10 animals that, m m most of them are found natively to Somalia. And, um, you know, I'll do a little phrase at the end as well, so you have a bit of context on how to use some of these animals as well. So let's get straight into it. So the first one is lion. How we say a lion is libah, libah. The second one of my favorite words is warabe, means a hyena. A hyena is warabe. The third animal is actually a really important one for understanding a bit about Somali history and about um, kind of Somali nationalism a bit, I guess, as well. The, the third animal is haramad, haramad, which means a leopard. You might notice on the Somali coat of arms there are actually two leopards. Um, yeah, we say leopard, we say haramad. And uh, that coat of arms, I think it came about in sort of 1955, 56, something like that. I, I remember 10th of October, but I think it's 1956. And um, yeah, was, which this kind of tells us that in those times, the leopard was probably native to Somalia. But now if we think about seeing leopards in Gongo Safari, we don't think about going to Somalia. But, but it, it, it was, and I think even still is, a native species to Somalia. So um, the way we say leopard is haramad. The fourth animal is a crocodile, which is yahas, yahas. The fifth animal on the list is an elephant, which is Maradi, Maradi. The sixth animal on my list is Damer Farao, which is a zebra, a zebra, a Damer Farao. Damer by itself means a donkey. Um, I don't know if it's similar to how in Arabic, the word for a zebra, they sell like a wild horse. They, they sell like a wild donkey even, sorry, they sell like Himar al-Wahsh. They say like a, 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 a wild donkey, so that's kind of similar to what, what there is in Somali. So we have Damer Farao, Damer Farao. The next animal on the list is a giraffe, which is giri, giri, giraffe, giri. And the last of my favorite words on the list is probably jer, jer, which means a hippo. I, I put jer on the list, one, because it's an African animal, but two, because it is probably my favorite animal as well. So, so jer, the hippopotamus. I remember when I was about four, I remember first seeing a hippo at uh, Whipsnade Safari Park or Woburn, it might have been Woburn Safari Park, here in the UK, and I remember it blew my mind when I first saw a hippo. I, I couldn't believe how one of those things could actually exist in the world, so I thought that would be a good one to put as the as, as some of Somalia's, like, um, a, a, anim, a African animals that you may, may or may not see in Somalia. So, so Jer is the last one, the hippo. So if we get into the phrases that I wanted to sh show you guys, so if you go to Somalia, someone might ask you, did you see such and such animal. Or if you go on safari, so I might ask you, did you see such and such animal? And a good phrase for asking someone, did you see, you say, miad arag tait. Miad arag tait. I think in some dialects of Somali, the miad might get shortened just to ma as well. You might just say, ma arag tait. Ma arag tait. Um, but, but, it's, but the full version is miad arag tait. So you could take any of those animals. For example, you could say, libah miad arag tait. Did you see a lion? Libah miad arag tait. Or you could say, jer miad arag tait. Okay, so if you wanted to say, yes, I did see, this verb arag is one which is a little bit difficult to conjugate in Somali, but the way that you do it, so arag tight was, was you saw, but you say ar kait, you say ha, meaning yes, libah, meaning lion, of course, and then wan ar kait, wan ar kait, is saying, yes, I saw that thing, yes, I saw that thing, wan ar kait. So another, another example would be something like, warabe mi arag tight, warabe mi arag tight, so before we finish, we just need to do our Somali question of the day. Which my question of the day is, Maradi That's everything from me for now. If you enjoyed this video, and I really, really hope you did, don't forget to like and share it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.